I believe that the story of Joseph takes place during the reign of Haram Chab for various incidents that happened during the reign of Haram Chab as we know them from Egyptian inscriptions and parallel incidents that are recorded in the story of Joseph. So Haram Chab then becomes Pharaoh and he reigns very well and effectively and when he dies He's succeeded by another royal family, the family of the Ramessides. And the first pharaoh was Ramses I, 1320, who died in 1320. I mean, he became pharaoh and died within the year. And was succeeded by Seti I. And Seti ruled for 19 or 20 years from 1320, I breathe to 1301. And then Ramses II became pharaoh in 1301. And Ramses II reigned for 67 years. A long time and enough time to build himself sculptures and statues and temples without end. Some of them, these colossal statues that had to be removed when they built the Aswan Dam. <coughs> And Ramses the, the second died at the age of 91 or thereabouts, um, except for his first great feat, great attempt, uh, lived a rather uneventful many years after the Battle of Kadesh, which was the big thing in his life. What's interesting is that Ramses the first dies as soon as he becomes Pharaoh, and Seti then dies 19 to 20 years later. And when we read the book of Exodus, it says, and Pharaoh died, it says twice. Vayamat melech Mitzrayim, and then again it says later on, Vayamat melech Mitzrayim, Vayakam melech Adash al Mitzrayim. So the Bible mentions two deaths of Pharaohs, and this conforms with the Egyptian records. It's interesting because some Egyptian records don't even list Pharaoh the, Ramses I because he only reigned a half year and may not have ever been gone through coronation. But in any event, the biblical record does reflect Egyptian genealogy as far as the Pharaohs are concerned.